Well, hello everybody. This is Wes Moore, your instructor for e-commerce. Welcome back to session two, where we're going to talk about how to complete the content pages of our website. As you recall, in our session one, we looked at the Wix editor, and we also went to the home page and reworked the home page and got it uh, really looking good. So now we want to move on and change the menu for the additional pages and go in and add the content. So why don't we do that now? So here I've got the Wix editor up again. I've got our site opened and you can see here that we have our logo, we have our uh, slogan, we have the content that we did last time and it looks all good. It's clean, it's neat. Now what we want to do is we want to add the pages that we develop for our site. There are specific pages that you are supposed to have in this site. Uh, so let's look at uh, what we want to do there. The first thing we need to do is adjust our menu to have the pages in that we need. So let's go up here to our page menu option here. This is where we work on our pages. You don't change the menu here. You change it in the Manage Menu uh, bar. So we've got all of these different pages. We've got five pages, but then we've got some additional pages in this site. It looks like they have a bookings area so you can book appointments, which is great, but we're not going to use that. They also have a member area where you can log in and do things like that from your, uh, from your own uh, portal on the website. Now we're not going to do this either because it's just beyond the scope of this course. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of these things and then we want to change the names and we're going to have to add a couple of pages in here because once we delete some of this stuff it's going to change a little bit of this list of our web pages. So let's go down here to manage pages. It'll just open it up so we can manipulate it. Now what I want to do here is we've got the site menu but we've also got these other areas. We've got member sign up, bookings pages, and member pages. So what we're going to do is get rid of all three of these so that all we have left is the site menu and then we want to work on getting that exactly like we want. So we'll go down here. You can't delete the member sign up. You actually have to do that right there. So let's jump down to bookings pages. Let's click the little actions icon here and then let's just delete bookings. We'll tell it yes we want to delete it. Then we'll go back. We'll go back to manage pages again. We see that it's gone. Now let's go to member pages hit actions and let's delete the members area yes so as we said last time all we're doing in a Wix template is adjusting that template to meet our needs as you get more proficient and more skilled at developing websites you can do things like member areas booking uh, options and even shopping cards and so on but we're not going to work on that right now so now you see we've got all we've got over here is site menu and then we've got our pages you notice that the services page dropped off. All right, so here's what we want to do. First of all, we've got home. That's that's the link that we want. But you recall that we're going to change about uh, to our story. Now, all I did there was I just double clicked one, two, and then I can type in. So I'm going to call this our story. I'll get my fingers on right. All right, then I'll hit done. All right gallery we go to gallery we see how that's set up now I want you to delete the gallery page right now and we're going to do something uh, a little bit different than the gallery page so let's just delete that we'll hit, hit the little three dots we'll delete that yes we want to delete it so we've got home our story <clears throat> looks like I misspelled that again guys sorry our story there you go Okay, so what we want to do is we've got two other pages other than the contact page, which we'll get to in just a moment. We've got the Why Us page, which is our differentiation page, our value proposition page. And then we've got services that will outline what we do. So what I want you to do is if you see here we're in our story now, if you see how this is set up, it's got a nice picture, a paragraph, and a heading. Nice picture, paragraph, heading. It's got three of those. What I would like us to do is use that page for these other two pages that we need. 
So we need the Why Us page and we need the Services page. And I want them to follow that design exactly. So what I can do is I can go over here and hit this three dots. And I can go down here and hit Duplicate. And it drops it in and it lets me give it a name. I'm going to call this Ser Services. Okay. Now I've got my Services page. But I also want to add a Why Us page. So let me go here again, hit the three dots, scroll down, hit Duplicate. And then let's type in Why Us. All right, now we've got all of our pages. The only thing we need to do is change the name here. I double click into that. Remember, I wanted to call that Connect With Us, trying to be different instead of just boring, bland contact. All right, so we've got our home page. When we click on that, we see that come up. And we know that that is already completed. So let's go to our story and let's start to edit our story to make it like we want it. All right, so our story. So let's start at the top. Instead of about us, we want our story. Now here's what I want you to do with this. I want you to change these three things here to our founder. We're going to talk about whoever it was that founded the company. I want you to change this to who we are. I'll explain that to you in a minute. And then I want you to come down to the very last one and I want you to change that to our qualifications. Okay? Now our founder is going to tell the folks a little bit about the man or woman who started the business and a little bit about their story. Who we are is going to tell the visitor about your passion. What are you, what are you there to do? What are, you, what are you really motivated to accomplish given your founder and your history? And then qualifications is going to give the folks a little bit more about why they should trust you. So I've got some text here that I'm going to drop in to each one of these and it will explain. So here we've got our founder. Explain how your company came into being. You will need to make this up, obviously, because it's a fictitious company. Do this as if you were telling a story. Go back to when you first started doing carpentry. Share why you wanted to start a business and what you hope to provide for your customers. Be brief, but not too short. Your goal here is to emotionally connect with your visitors. Now, if you notice here, I want to teach you something. You've got these two. If I hold down Shift and click on this one, I can group these. Notice how this is sitting a little bit low now. The distance between there and there is different. That's very important stuff when you're laying out a website. You want it to be square and uh, even. So I moved it. Now I've got a little text here for this one too. Who we are. Let's put this, see what I've got to say there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the shift key. I'm going to select both of these and hit group. And I can move this up. That tells me, that little pink line tells me I'm in the middle. Who we are. Use this paragraph to describe your passion as an organization. Your story says how you got here. Who you are says what you're here to do. For example, you might say, our past drives us to pursue excellence in all we do, focusing on the smallest details in our projects and seeking to fully understand and execute our client's vision. Obviously, you'll need to say more than just that one sentence and you need to come up with your own material. Do not copy mine. These are just ideas for you. Now let's go down to our qualifications. I've got some text there as well. Let's put that in. Again, I'm going to hit the Shift key, select both and group them. And then I can slide them up. See, I've got that pink line. I know I'm in the middle. All right. What does it say here? Here's where you get a little more technical. Explain your education and experience. Give your customer a reason to trust that you can do all that you say you can do. Our owner has more than 30 years in the carpentry business. He was an apprentice to a well-known master carpenter in Connecticut where he assisted in projects for the governor and state legislature there. That kind of thing. All right, so then what you want to do, you've got, you've got all your text in. Now you need to replace these images. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the images in this on this page, but when we go to the other two pages, 
uh, why us and services, I'll just leave those alone and let you replace your own just for time's sake. So let's do this. Remember, we can click on an image. We can hit change image. Now I've got a couple of site files here. I could go down to media from Wix and grab some files, but there are a couple that I've already saved, as I mentioned to you before. I found a couple here. See, I've got our story one and two. I'm just going to drag those over. And I got those from one of those three sites I mentioned in the last session, pexels.com, pixabay.com, or Unsplash. All right, I found a picture of a guy, kind of a cool looking dude here, and I'm going to put him in as our founder. Again, that's not our founder, but that's the kind of image you'd want to do there. Who we are. Let's click on this. Let's go to change image. And then I found something here that shows a man working on something and really paying attention to the details. So he's, he's measuring it out, he's being very precise, and that fits along with the passion. These pictures need to connect to the word somehow. Don't just pick a random picture. Think about what you're saying and try and have a, an image that represents that in some way. Now qualifications. Let's hit this, let's hit change image. Now in this case I want to use the media from Wix. I found an image there when I was preparing. Let's look up Carpenter. And there was one that I thought was pretty cool. This one right here. It shows all the different tools that are in there, and they're all, most of them are different. And I thought that connected to qualifications because this man and this organization has learned how to use all these tools over all these years. And so that connects with that image. You see that? So now we've got our story all completed. Isn't that beautiful? Now we just want to save it so we don't lose it. All right. Now let's go on and look at these other three, and we can do those a little more quickly. Let's go to Why Us. Why Us. All right. Let's go up to the top here. Let's change this. Double click in it. Why Us? Question mark. Okay. Now these items are going to come from the differentiators that we developed in our plan but also that show up on our home page. So let's just go back there real quick and let's see those. Here they are. Remember we start at the top, we scroll down. Individual attention, highest craftsmanship, and beauty and functionality. So we want to go back there, we want to go to Why Us, and we want to put these words right here. Individual attention. All right, let's go down here to the second one, and I wrote these down because I cannot remember them. Highest craftsmanship. And then the third, beauty and functionality. Now, I'm going to let you replace the images on your own. Do not leave those images. If you leave those images, I'll take off. You're supposed to replace these with something of your own. But here I do have some text I'm going to put in here to give you a little bit of direction. It's the same text for all three. Use this paragraph to explain your value in this area. Explain in terms the customer would care about, not you. Say things like, we cater to your every desire for your project, not we strive to maximize our profit by meeting your needs. You see, that's looking at it from my perspective, what I get out of this. You never want to talk to a customer in terms of what you get out of it, always what they get out of it. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to add this to each one of these. All right, so now we've got that page done. Now this is what you should have already developed through your, your plan and your site plan and your business plan mini business plan. I'm going to save that. Alright, so that one that one is all done. Now we'll go to services. Services. We've got the same same look. Let's change this to services. That's easy enough. Now again we want to pick these. We're going to pick three and we did those on our home page as well. So this is all going to tie together. Let's go to our home page again and let's look and see what we said. Our services. 
bookshelves, tables and chairs, decorative moldings, design and installation. I will probably just leave design and installation off and discuss that in the text of these. Now, what I just noticed was I've got capital, 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 but there I've got a lowercase. That's the kind of detail you want to make sure that you correct in your site. You want it to be perfect. So let's save that. So let's go back to services and let's put these words in. Custom book shelves. And remember, yours will be different than mine. But this is just tables and chairs. This is just an example to help you get yours going. Decorative moldings. Okay. So there we've got the headings in. All right, and I've got some text here too that I'll copy in and then just talk to you about briefly that'll give you. All right, explain your service here. Be detailed but not too long winded. For example, we provide the most complete custom bookshelf design and installation service in the Northeast. Our team will work with you to, a, to lay out a shelf system catered for your area. That kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in here. And there you go. Now I'm going to save it. And again, you have to change the pictures. Don't forget to do that. Now this, this site here is, is live. See, if I hit publish, it's going to publish all my changes. Very important thing to know is that all the changes that we've made and that we've saved have not been published to the site until I hit publish. All right? So we, we'll publish here at the end. But I am going to make this site and keep it live for you so you can go find it and see all the things that I've done in the end. You can watch the video, but then you can go back to the site itself and see the instructions so you can just sort of work from my design. Now let's go to connect with us. This is our last one, and this is pretty easy. Remember, I want to change this from contact to connect with us. I'm trying to be different. Now here you've got a little bit of text, and I've got a little, little uh, text that I want to add in here for you to give you an idea of what you should be putting in. Let's move this, let's move this up a little bit. Okay. Write a brief sentence or two encouraging your visitors to reach out to you for a consultation. Use gentle, inviting language. We can't wait to, to speak with you about your project. Call or email at any time. Something like that. Of course, use your own language. Do not copy mine. And then down here, let's change this to connect today. And we're using this connect term here. Okay? Connect today. And then what I want you to do here is I want you to put info and I want you to put the name of your company. Perfectcarpentry.com. We know that doesn't really exist. And then I want you to put the address of CC Tech just so you can have something in here, which is 506 North Ginyard. I think that's how that's pronounced. Sumter, South Carolina, 29150. I believe that's correct. Yes, that's correct. All right. Now, let's, uh, let's go over here to this. This is a Google Maps uh, app that's been dropped in here. So we don't want that. That's in San Francisco. We want to change it to our address. Okay. So let's just go here and let's just hit Manage Locations. And let's change our address here. 506 North Ginyard Drive, Sumter, South Carolina, 29150. And let's change the title to Our Company. We don't need to put anything else. Let's just drop out of that. And there you go. It drops it in. So that's sweet. You don't need to worry about this. It's already in there. You would have some, some um, editing to do if you were going to actually make it live so that it would send an email to your email address, but you don't need to do that. So you see here we've got it. We've got, let's go, let's, uh, let's save it, and then let's just preview what we've got. Let's go to the home. 
We've got perfection carpentry, nice and clean. We've got our story, our founder, who we are, qualifications. Why us, our differentiators, to tell people why they would want to buy from us instead of someone else. Our services, all of this has the same format, so it'll be easy for the customer and the, to understand and follow. And then we've got connect with us. Now before we leave, let's go back to our editor. Let's publish it. There's the site name. Remember to copy that and to put it in a Word file and drop it in D2L. Even though you've given me that name before, I don't have time to go looking for it. So you need to put it in a, a Word file and turn it in in the, the section that's required for this uh, assignment. So that's all we've got for you today in Session 2. I hope that uh, that's made some sense to you and will help you. And we look forward to we'll have one more session in this series. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Good luck on your website.